Hello guys, welcome to the channel Stupid Horror Study. So guys, today we are going to see how to use the scientific calculator Casio 991 EX Plus. So in this video we will get all the tricks or how to use the calculator in detail. So first of all, you can see the start button over there. So press on button to start. So you are seeing the rows and columns the buttons which are there in rows and columns so they are there for uh, different types of operations so shift and uh, alpha button is there so shift is in yellow color and alpha is in red color if you press shift plus any button like uh, for example shift plus 10x so you will get the pi which is written over there by only pressing 10x gives the same value which is like into multiplied by 10x let's see some example of using alpha and shift so use of alpha and shift so if you press any button with shift or alpha like press shift plus point button then you will get the ran hash now press similar button by using alpha so now you will get the ran int hash bracket like something now press the similar button without using any shift or alpha then you will get the point so these are the uses of alpha and shift now let's see the use of left right and up down keys so if you type any number as shown in the screen so then you will get that the line is moving at the right or left side now if you uh, press this number like this then uh, the up down keys are uh, used in such a way so this is the use of left right button and up down keys now let's see the use of mode setup button so if you press mode setup then you will get this eight different types of operations so you can press any number which is shown in front of them so for example if you press 5 number then you will get the equation so you can see different types of equations here there are four types of equations given so a n x plus b n y is equal to c n and the second one third one like that same the power is increasing now press 3 so we'll get this a b c values so for example let's consider an equation x square plus 2x plus 3 so to get the coefficients of this equation press 1 and then press is equal to so we'll get a now for b press 2 and equal to for similarly for c press 3 and equal to then you will get the root of this equation x1 is equal to minus 1 plus root 2 i so this is a imaginary root you can also consider real roots or imaginary roots like that for normal mode again press mode setup and one so we'll get the normal setup so this is our first screen which we use for our normal operations you can calculate integration of any equations also so press the integration symbol and then put up the values in it you can put any values so if you want to calculate the derivative then just pre press shift plus the same button again then you can calculate the derivatives also so you will need to just put up the values over there now let's see how to find the factorial of any number so press any number then press shift and then press x raised to power minus 1 then you will get the factorial of that number for example for 3 press 3 and then press shift plus x raised to power minus 1 and you will get the factorial of 3 that is 6 now find x to the power minus 1 so you can press any number like 5 raised to power minus 1 then you will get 1 by 5 to convert 1 by 5 into point you can press hd button which is over there then you will get 0 0.2 as shown in the screen if you press it again you will get 1 by 5 now let's see the use of log to the base any value so if you press the log button on the right side then you can get the log of any value to the base any value so if you press log base 2 of 5 so like log of 5 to the base 2 then you will get 2.32 like something now let's see for writing values in fraction the button which is given there you can see two boxes at the left side of the screen if you press this button then you can write the values in fraction the next button to this is to find the square root and the cube root so if you press this button then you can get the square root of any number so by using the same button you can press shift and the same button you can calculate the cube root of any number now to find the square of any number you have to press x square and to find the cube of any number you have to press shift plus the same button you will get cube of that number now let's see if you want to find the nth power of any number for example 
the fifth power of 56 then you can find that using the button which is over there next to the x square and you can also find nth root of that number by using the shift plus the same button then you can get the nth root of that number like 56th root of 78 which is given like a one point something so in this way you can calculate the power of any number the log to the base 10 and anti log and e to the power any number so to find the log to the base 10 press log button and any number then you will get log to the base 10 similarly if you want the anti log of any number then you can press shift plus log button then you can get the anti log of that number and to find the natural log of that number you can press ln so that you can get the natural log and if you press shift plus ln button then you will get e to the power any number now the next button you are seeing here is to convert degree minutes second so if you press any number like 100 and then press this button then you will get the 100 which is divided into degree minutes and seconds for example you can take any example like uh, in points also so 12.236 and uh, press the button then you will get 12 degree 40 minutes 9.6 second so in this way you can convert any number in points in uh, degree minutes and seconds now let's see the use of trigonometric values and their inverse so you can find the values of sine just press sin 30 and you will get the sin 30 value you can convert this into point and uh, if you want to convert this value in uh, radian then you can also watch our uh, videos which is there in playlist in a uh, scientific calculator you can also press on i icon to see the video to how to convert uh, degrees to radians and radians to degree you can also find the inverse just press shift and uh, sign button then you will get the sign inverse similarly for cos and tan you can get the values in uh, same the recall option which is uh, shown there it's to recall the values you can recall these values by pressing just recall button after this you can see here the bracket symbol you can use these brackets for doing the calculations also the sd button is there which is used to convert the fraction values like uh, numerator 5 denominator 8 into the points so just press the sd button then you will get these values in point like 5 by 8 in 0 0.6 to 5 and uh, if you press again then you will get in previous form now you can use the digits from 0 to 9 to find different types of calculations so for example if you press 56 and then press shift plus divided by sign or a divided by button then you can get the ncr formula which is used in probability you can find this answer easily by using this button shift plus divided by press 56 or any number then shift plus divided by and any number which you want then you can get the answer if you want to get the value of y then press shift plus 10 raised to power x then you will get the pi so for getting numbers in power of 10 for example 10 into 10 to the power 6 so you can get this value so you can use this value in your calculations for fast calculations similarly if you press the similar button by pressing alpha then you can use the value of e in your calculations so the use of buttons which are on right sides of the digits like delete for example if you want to delete any number uh, 4 5 6 7 8 9 and if you want to delete then you can press just simply delete button and uh, the numbers will get deleted you can use left right or up down arrows for uh, deleting the numbers for deleting a single number you can use delete button and uh, for uh, clearing all the numbers you can use all clear that is ac button similarly you can use the multiplication division addition or uh, subtraction button in uh, such a way to do the various basic operations like multiplication division addition or subtraction and you can use the answer button to get the answer of any equation and if you want to close the calculator then you can press just shift button and all clear button so you can easily switch off the calculator and to start it again you can simply press on button so that the calculator gets start if you like the video please press the like button share with your friends and if you want more such videos you can ask me in the comment section or if you have any doubt you can comment it below in comment section and for getting more such videos please subscribe our channel so that we can get the motivation to make such more interesting educational videos
for you so thank you for watching